Hey guys, how's it going? Jake here. Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. We got snow and we got a decent amount of it. Um, over the past 24 hours, I've worked about 20 of them plowing snow for the full-time job with Chris. Uh, it was a doozy of a storm, a lot of drifting. It just kind of lingered. It was like the longest eight to 10 inches of snow that um, I've ever seen fall. It took like well over 24 hours for it to fall and like be done. Uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt, but we got it all done. So now I am back here at the house with the tractor, just put on the rear blade, and I finally got in my edge tamers for the bucket by R2 Manufacturing. So I just put them on, it took like literally less than a minute to put the three of them on. So I wanna show you uh, what they're all about. So here are the edge tamers that we'll be testing out for the first time. Um, these are the four inch version and they recommend for my 66 inch bucket, uh, three of them. And these are their new version. Um, they just came out with this new version and don't quote me on this, I forget the exact terminology, but I believe these are cast as opposed to welded. Um, I got a very nice email, actually multiple really nice emails from the, I believe it was the owner or somebody that works for the company, R2 Manufacturing. I will put a link in the description. Um, and he let me know that these things were gonna be delayed just due to all sorts of different, you know, manufacturing supply chain issues and stuff like that, that everybody knows have been going on with COVID and everything. Um, and he let me know that another reason why it was getting a little bit delayed is because they're making the switch over from, again, don't quote me on it, but I believe the, the older iterations of them were welded, whereas these ones are cast. Um, so they were making that switch over. He let me know that I would be one of the first to receive this new cast version. So I'm really excited to try them out and uh, do a quick review. And they just happened to come this past Friday, right now it's Sunday, um, when the snowstorm hit. So um, we got them on, like I said, it took, it's literally just three bolts. It's like three, three quarter bolts. I measured the bucket, you know, obviously put the two on the outer side, measured the center, plop that one down in there and you just tighten them down. I believe they said to like 20 or 30 foot pounds. Um, so we got them on there. It took no problem at all. And, uh, you know, as you can see, we got a bunch of snow here. I did one pass getting the tractor up here with the rear blade just so that I didn't have to carry these all the way back to where I keep the tractor. Got the old uh, daily driver brushed off. Got the truck over on the lawn so I didn't compact everything. I got the International started up. So we are good to go. And we are ready to make a video on snow removal. The one thing I want to do before we go is grab a tape measure and show you how much snow we got because I don't even know up here. Okay, so here we are in kind of the middle section of the driveway. Now, as I mentioned, there was quite a bit of snow drifting. Um, so yeah, like right here, we're at about four and a half inches, but it's uh, significantly, that's actually a lot less than I thought it was gonna be. There was uh, quite a bit more in certain spots from the drifting. So, um, I don't know, that was kind of a little anticlimactic. I, I thought it was gonna be a lot more for sure. But um, there, believe me when I say that it was super windy. We were doing tree work, we were doing snow plowing, getting called back and forth between the two. Um, there were like 60 mile per hour gusts and stuff. Um, so there is more than just four inches of snow, but even still four inches is a good amount to test out these new edge tamers. So here we go.
Okay guys, so some initial impressions here. Um, I've done like three or four passes down the driveway and as you can see, between the rear blade and the edge tamers, we are getting pretty far down to the gravel here. Now in the past, I had been using the bucket in the rear blade, but just kinda, I was floating the bucket, which I still am doing and tipping the, uh, you know, angling it up a little bit so as not to scrape up all the gravel. Now, one thing I wanna mention about this gravel, this gravel is not what I would um, like to have as a driveway. Unfortunately, when right before we bought the house, the owners threw down a couple triaxle loads of this bigger, thick gravel, and there's no fines in it. Um, if you guys watch Outdoors with the Morgans, you know Mike Morgan likes his fines mixed in with the more coarser rock to um, provide for a nice, packing uh you know surface and this stuff just does not have that it's just gravel so i think in the spring i might try and not rip it up but kind of mix everything up on this driveway and mix in some fines so that it does pack a little bit better um so because of that i've been pretty wary about trying to dig too much because i really don't want to send all this gravel all the way down to the end of the driveway and so far i think i've been pretty successful but these edge tamers are great because I can just put the bucket and float. I really don't have to worry about the angle that the bucket's at because it's, it's off the ground regardless. You know, these things are, I don't know, maybe about a half an inch thick, as you can see. So they keep it up and they're, they kind of act like skis. Um, and it, it's doing a great job so far. Uh, the bucket's kind of pushing the brunt of the snow and then the rear blade is kind of scraping um, where, you know, because the bucket isn't really scraping. So um, it's working really well. I have the rear blade adjusted with the top link really far out. Um, that way it'll kind of float instead of dig over the gravel. Um, and all in all, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. So we're gonna keep going. Um, I got a couple more passes to get my car out, then I'll get it out of the way. And then we'll clean up the bottom of the driveway and head back into the wood yard. So stay tuned. guys I got the tractor parked here and as you can see the rear blade and the bucket with the edge tamers does a pretty good job I'm pretty happy with the edge tamers the way that they work they definitely do what they're advertised to do um, you know it definitely skims over which is why you can see you know this little bit of uh, you know snow left but everything's melting all the snows melted off my truck already 
sun is out and shining bright. We got a nice big pile of snow here. Um, once it melts in the spring, it'll be interesting to see how much gravel will be in there. Um, I have a feeling there's gonna be more than I think, um, but that's all right. We can always use the rear blade to scrape it back out and spread it. Um, one thing I wanted to show, I, that's why I have the bucket in this position. You know, you can see the edge chambers are all exactly, uh, you know, where they're supposed to be. They didn't move at all. Um, and they are definitely taking, you know, the brunt of the force. You can see how the paint is worn off um, on the bottom of each one, which is totally fine. That's what it's designed to do. Um, and it's taking, you know, hopefully I can avoid scraping up the bottom of the bucket, you know, moving forward, at least when I'm doing snow like this, because um, it was definitely wearing out uh, the bottom of the bucket and scraping it up pretty good with all this gravel. So um, all in all, pretty happy. We got Louie up there next to the barn, chewing on something per usual. Um, but yeah, all in all, success. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Please excuse the lowly hum of the uh, International in the background here. I'm just letting it run and charge up the batteries. I wanna keep that, uh, that motor nice and warm. It's about 14 degrees out here in Connecticut today, so uh, it needs it. But um, all in all, the edge chambers, like I said, I'm really happy with them, definitely worth the money. Um, I did buy these, you know, full price, no discounts or anything. Um, so, you know, this is not an endorsement for them. However, I would suggest getting them. If you have a gravel driveway or a dirt driveway or something, or you just don't want to scrape up, uh, you know, the concrete driveway or asphalt, these things work pretty well. Um, like I said in the beginning, super easy to put on, just three, three quarter inch bolts knock them down with the impact gun um, and you're off to the races. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, any questions, comments, or feedback on what I could be doing differently, different equipment I could be using, please let me know in the comment section below. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Do Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.